If you use Google Chrome as your web browser, you can find and add Chrome extensions to the browser that can help you do things a lot better and more efficiently. Hi, this is Trevor, and in this video, I'll show you the top 10 free Chrome extension I have been using for my print on demand businesses. They have been helping me with keyword research, finding out what kind of products and designs my potential customers are looking for, checking for trademarks of a design idea, speeding up the upload process of my product listings, and more. You can search for Chrome extensions on your Google Chrome browser to get to the site and find these extensions on the search page or simply use the links in the description of this video to go to them directly for your convenience. Now, let's get started. The first one is Grammarly. This tool is very helpful for detecting typos and grammar mistakes when writing. Let's pretend I just created this personalized crocodile skin iPhone case design on Sazzle and I want to write the title and description for this new product listing. I will just start typing, and if there are any typo mistakes, Grammarly will pick it up automatically. I just need to mouse over the highlight area to make the corrections. The second one is Calazilla. Let's say I saw this cute drawing of two cats holding a fish on Pinterest, and I wonder what the color value of the pillow behind the black kitten is exactly. Look for the icon that looks like an eyedropper on the right side next to the address bar on top. If you don't see it, click on the icon that looks like a puzzle piece and you should find it on the list. You can click on the thumbtack symbol to pin the Chrome extension for quick access. Now simply click on the Colorzilla icon and move the cursor that will turn into a crosshair on the image and you will see the readings of the color on the pop-up bar above. Go to the pink pillow, left-click on your mouse, and the color value is copy. Click on the Colorzilla icon again to open the drop-down menu. Select either Color Picker or Pick Color History. And the color data you just pick is there and ready for use. There are also other features I haven't tried yet. You're welcome to explore them. Number three is SEO Stack Keyword Tool. This Chrome extension is for keyword research. Simply click on the icon on top to open the tool. On the left side from the top, you will type in the keywords you want to do research on. Select what types and which platforms you want to see, and choose which country and language you want to look into. For print on demand, I usually just leave all the default selection as is, and I will add Amazon to the search. Let's type in Starfish as the keyword example, and click the Start button at the bottom left to begin the search. There is a total of 474 results, and you can look at the list in a clean and organized table format. Each result has a rank from 1 to 10 based on the keyword search and you can see which platform the data came from under the source column. I believe all keywords shown in the list simply mean the top 10 search results, so they all have potential for something good, depending on what you are looking to do with them. Let's take a look at some of the keywords on the list for any potential print-on-demand design ideas. There is Starfish Sushi, Starfish Book, Starfish Coffee, Starfish Bracelet Starfish Cactus These are the ones we can consider doing deeper research on. And if you want the search result to be more specific to a product type, first, we need to hit the clear button for a new search. And let's try Starfish Shirt this time and hit the start button again. Now we have new search results that's focus more on shirts. And we have a brand name that we will skip. And there's chocolate starfish shirt, starfish orange shirt. There's a starfish and coffee t-shirt again. There's starfish birthday shirt, starfish color shirt, starfish Christmas shirt. Starfish couple shirt. There's also a wildcard modifiers feature where you can add the asterisk symbol before, after, or in between the keywords for different search results. You can experiment with it yourself. 
if you want to save the search results for further study. You can click the Export CSV button to download it to your computer in CSV format. To keep this video from going too long, I will have to show you what I would do with the CSV files in another video if you're interested. Number 4 is Merge Research Free. This is a very handy tool for quick trademarks check and merge research for t-shirts. Anywhere inside Google Chrome, as long as you can highlight the text, you can run a search. Let's highlight Starfish and Coffee from the last SEO stack search result as an example. Right click on your mouse and you will find the Merge Research Free option. Mouse over to open the Hidden Treasure drop down menu. You can choose Show All Merge Amazon to see the search results on Amazon.com for the keyword. Check the trademarks with the USPTO, which is the official database for the US Patent and Trademark Office. Then you can also search on different social media platforms, marketplaces, print on demand sites, and more. Let's check on trademarks first by clicking on USPTO. There is one result found on the records of the official USPTO database. And you may think Starfish and Coffee is no good for print on demand then. But if you read into it, we will see the word mark for each section has been abandoned. And at the bottom of the page, it shows the status of this trademark is dead, which means the term Starfish and Coffee is okay for print on demand designs. Let's go back to the drop down menu to run a search on Amazon.com. I used to select Show All Merge Amazon for the search results. However, I recently found the Amazon All option under Marketplace Images tend to give me the results closer to what I'm looking for. Feel free to test all other options yourself and see what you like best. The remaining free Chrome extensions I want to show you are built for research and enhancements to the Amazon website and their print-on-demand program called Merge by Amazon in the past. It is Amazon Merge on Demand today. Number 5 is AMZ Suggestion Expander. This Chrome extension is mainly created for the search bar of the Amazon website. For this demonstration, we will use peace, love as our keyword. Originally, when we type in the words in the search bar, a small list of suggested search results will show up. And those are all the popular keywords Amazon customers use when they are searching for what to buy on the website, which is not bad at all for our keywords research. Now with the AMZ Suggestion Expander, when we type in the same word in the search bar again, we will have a pop-up window with a lot more popular search results this time. Isn't it better? This tool can also provide you the monthly search volume estimates for all the keywords, word analysis and more with a paid account. If you want these additional features, just click on the pro link at the bottom part of the window for more information. Number 6 is DS Amazon Quick View. The function of this tool is simple yet very helpful. Let's select the keywords Peace Love for Dot T-shirt on the list in the AMC Suggestion Expander. When we mouse over a product photo, a pop-up window will show up and give us important information about the product. We can see when was the design released for sale on Amazon, the brand name, and the ASIN, which is the Amazon standard identification number. It's useful for more in-depth research using another research tool that cannot be covered in this video. In the pop-up window, you can also see all the sales rank of the product, and the best seller rank, aka BSR is what sellers on Amazon will focus on the most. The lower the number in ranks, the better your product is doing on the Amazon website. Number 7 is Pretty Merge for Merge by Amazon. If you have an Amazon Merge on Demand account and you are working on growing your business there, you certainly want to add this Chrome extension because it will create a more user-friendly and helpful interface for you to study the progress of your print on demand business on Amazon Merge. The original dashboard of your Amazon account is a bit too simple with not much information for you to study. You only get to see which tier you are currently in, your daily product submission limit, your published design status, the total number of products you can possibly create, the recent sales status in the last 7 days, your recent product status, and news update in a plain layout. With Pretty Merge, the dashboard is a lot more lively and functional. You get a fun graphic representing different tiers. You can see how many designs are under review, processing, and rejected. There's a button for you to add a new product. 
you get to see your recent sales on each Amazon Marketplace all in one place. The status of daily upload, design and product limit, products with sales, and even review status is showing clearly. The overall interface is just much better with more details compared to the original dashboard. Down the page, you can open a bar chart to learn about your sales history, your royalties, and how the revenue share is distributed. On the left hand side, there are different tabs for you to check on today's sales, top units sold, and top royalties so you know which products are doing well in the last 30 days. Back to the top, and there are also different tabs for you to further analyze your sales, manage your products, and a research tool with limited assets on a free account. If you want to unlock all the pretty merch features, simply click on the Upgrade to Pro button on the right to get a paid account. Number 8 is Productor for Merch by Amazon. This is perhaps the free Chrome extension with the most detailed features and coverage among all I want to share with you in this video. It is like putting Amazon on steroids. And so, just a heads up, this tool might slow down your browsing experience a bit on the Amazon website. This is a big one, so I can only show you the overview, the highlights of what I have used, and what I like using regularly with this tool today. This Chrome extension actually covers both the Amazon website and the back end of your Amazon Merch account. Let's start with the Amazon Merch side. Productor also has a dashboard for your account, and you will see a huge amount of detailed information here about your sales data, design status, upcoming events, review details, Google Trends updates, and more. There is also a products page, designs page, and statistics page with more detailed data which I haven't gone through yet myself. But for sure, this data can be very helpful for my business growth. Next, I want to show you the productive features I use regularly when creating new designs to sell on Amazon under the Create Products page. For this demonstration, I will use this retro arcade graphic I downloaded from Placeit.net, a website that provides commercial free graphics, local designs, realistic mockups, video templates, and more. Let's drag and drop the artwork to add to the products on the page without the Chrome extension first. The original page is pretty simple, and it has just enough editing options for us to work with, and it's just okay. However, what bothers me the most is the slot for writing the bullets in the product details section are so narrow that I have to go back and forth to check my sentences when writing, which is not good. With Productor turned on, instantly you have a lot more editing options everywhere. And from time to time, I like to use the royalties slot to update the pricing across different marketplaces all at once. The product details and bullet session have a lot more room for writing now. And there are keyword suggestions generated underneath to help you find better keywords for search engine optimization before publishing your new design. Now on the Amazon web page, once you start running a search on the search bar, the top of the page will load up a whole block of research data for your keywords. And you can expand the block further to view more search results. And when you scroll down and start looking at the product listing, you will find so much more information attached to each of them below, making it much easier for you to do design and product research. So after seeing all these features of Productor, does this tool feel like putting Amazon on steroids to you as well? Number 9 is Merge by Amazon Trademark Protection. This Chrome extension is a nice addition to go alongside Productor. And the only option I use regularly with this tool so far is the MI Trademark Check, which is placed above the Product Details section on the Create Products page. I like to run a check for trademarks almost every time I finish all the writings and before publishing a new design to sell on Amazon. You can click on the Hide the Text Pickup by the tool to study each keyword associated with the database of USPTO. There are trademarked words that I actually would ignore and keep in the descriptions. But this topic will have to be in another video. Number 10 is Merch Informer Lister. This is one helpful tool to speed up my upload process on Amazon Merch by at least 30%. Simply click on the Merch Informer Lister icon on the top right of the browser to open the tool. The only feature I have been using so far is the profiles to create presets and hard keys for faster design uploads. For example, you can see that I created a profile for just a standard t-shirt with dark color clothing selections. That is for my light color artwork designs. And I set Alt-C as the hard key on my PC. 
It is basically a command input to run this preset at ease as soon as I added a new design to the Create Products page. Let's try to create a new profile together. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Add Profile button. It appears that by default, all products in every Amazon Marketplace are turned on. Let's say you just want to select a few products only. You can click on Uncheck All on the top to deselect all the checkboxes. Let's say we want this preset made for the standard T-shirt, V-net T-shirt, and tank top in the US market only. So we will check the boxes and set the price for each of them. Once you are done, scroll down to the next section. In the translation options, you will decide if you want Amazon to auto-translate the product information for you across different marketplaces or not. I've tried both and am still not sure which one is better. But I've heard that the auto-translate feature had caused some issue with certain countries' policies for Amazon merch sellers before. So I picked no for now just to be safe. If you have a brand name or keywords you want to use over and over again for your designs, add them to the slots. And then you will pick the shirt colors you like in the next section. Set the product view and check the boxes to which group of people you want to sell to. After that, create a hard key for this profile. I prefer using the Alt key combo myself, and I want to do Alt W for this one. At last, check the is active box. Click done, and your new profile has been created. Now open the create products page and drag and drop your artwork. Once the graphic is loaded, use the new hard key we just created, which is Alt W, and Merch Informer Lister will run the preset for you right away. This will help you skip a lot of repetitive tasks every time you upload a new design on Amazon Merch. Isn't it nice? Here's a trick I discovered how to speed up the upload process a little bit more with this tool. Before you run the hotkey, just click on Select Products on the top right. Hit None on the top left to clear all the selections. Scroll down and hit Continue. This way, when you run the tool, it can skip the steps of unchecking the products one by one for you. So these are the top 10 free Chrome extensions I have been using for my print-on-demand businesses and I hope they can help you as well. If you find this information helpful, hit the like button and it's much appreciated. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe and turn on the bell so you'll be notified when there's new updates on this channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.